Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for the show when I'm going to be chatting to Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones. Uh Welcome to Expose. I'm Lorraine Keane. Nothing defines rock and roll more than the Rolling Stones. Five decades on, they still have a massive following, so much so that director Martin Scorsese has made a movie about the iconic group. Lisa, a self-confessed Stones fan herself, caught up with the wrinkly rockers in London to talk about bringing the city to a standstill. Well, age never withers them. They are quintessentially one of the biggest rock and roll bands of our time. They are shining a light on us tonight here in London's Leicester Square, but may a light shine on them. It is the Rolling Stones. Jagger. Are you good? If you, you know, this is an amazing documentary to make, but do you think it trans any difference between Gimme Shelter and Stones and Hyde Park? Yeah, it's pretty different, you know, I mean, it's more, it's a theatre, they were all very big places and this is a really small one, so, you know, I think it's very different and gives you, like, you feel like you're on the stage. I never thought we'd be, I'd be doing it for two years even, you know, when we started off, I never thought we'd make it very big anyway. And what a phenomenal performer. Spanning decades in music, the Stones are as popular as ever. So why now in your 60s will you want to make another documentary? So I thought it would be a good time to do it and I thought Marty would be a great person to direct it. For sure. Oh, the Dylan one. Do you like it? Yeah, like it very much. Yeah, I like everything actually Martin's ever done. He's a great guy. You know? I mean, I seems to be a big fan of yours. Is that flattering that Martin Scorsese likes your work? We, we got along real easy. You know? yeah, I mean, yeah. Good combo. Easy with Scorsese. You know? <laughs> Thank you very much. Mr. Keith Richards is somewhat of a sought-after thespian since his appearance as Johnny Depp's father in Pirates of the Caribbean this year. So has he decided on any offers from Hollywood directors? I have, I have. I'm, I'm, I'm checking out the scripts. <laughs> I can't tell you any more about it because they're useless. <laughs> but, uh, at least I'm getting some. And I don't know if I want to do it. You know, it's... Uh, I mean, I in a movie, so I'm a guitar player, for Christ's sake. My other worry about the cameras was, Marty, that, that they whiz around all the time, and it's very annoying to the audience and to everyone on the stage. It would be good to have a camera that moves, that, that swoops down and in and out. know if at all possible what they're going to play we have to make sure that we're covered which we talk we'll be done marty you know now before the show i, I don't know what's going on <laughs> if nick stands in front of the light for more than 18 seconds it's going to burn i mean like flames <laughs> And now to give us all the real gossip on last night's premiere, we've dragged Lisa into the studio. Poor Lisa, <laughs> after a late night. Hi, Lorraine. I'm exhausted. And I ran backstage and grabbed something from Keith Richards' wardrobe. I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That is very rock chick. Very rock chick. And that was the theme of last night. I mean, the guys rolled up the four. The charisma of the four together is unbelievable. And I heard it was the biggest premiere ever, ever, ever. Ever. Bigger than London. Titanic, Star Wars. I mean, it was unbelievable. The guys introduced the movie. It's directed by Martin Scorsese. So you can't get much bigger than the best director in film to the best rock and roll band in the world. And this is the second time they did The Last Waltz years ago. But they're brilliant together. You know, like Keith Richards just looks like he's... <laughs> you don't know he looks... It's all the wrinkles on his face, you know? It's fantastic. But they all look great. Are they smaller in real life? Much smaller. Like when Mick Jagger walked up to me... It always happens. It always happens. And he's got a big face. He's got the big lips. And tiniest little bum, you know? I've seen them in concerts for years. I've seen them like mm. eight times. I'm one of their biggest fans. Oh, wow. You know? So, um, yeah, it was amazing to, to see get to talk all. to them face to face must have been a dream come true for incredible you. but then you know it's so rushed over there and you don't get to kind of you know really say what you want to say it's some great questions all about you know the old days and right up to modern day but she don't get to get starstruck a little bit oh. and it's the first time it's happened to Very me in years <laughs> a little bit but especially with keith richards because i love him i think he's an amazing guitarist and ron wood as well he's got this big crow black you know nested hair and he's just like yeah 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 he's and really good fun. from you now i know i know <laughs> who's your favorite out of 
of all of them. I think Ron would. I mean, as I said, I've seen them years and years uh, over the years, and I really love the way he just is so charismatic and fun. Do they flirt? Really, a little bit, not too much. He's very little. busy, very busy over there. Gosh, not flirting with our Lisa. <laughs> no excuse there. Ron Wood did. I'll say Ron Wood did. No, then. you see. Good well, he invited boy. me into the after show party, so but you can't get in. It's too busy over there. Oh, so stop the lights. Yeah, but Mick Mick Jagger had these high heels on next to Lorraine Scott. So the kind of, of runners were built in. Very tall. Yeah, like she's. Let's find out where you got those runners. I know, I know. Those. And exactly, those kind of really high platform, and he's he's all posing. You know, he's all about business, Mick. You know, he's, he's in amazing physical shape for his age. He's 64, but all their ages combined, Lorraine, I think it's two, 257 or 254. No Isn't that amazing? amazing. And they're still going strong. The wrinkly rockers. Well, listen, unfortunately, we, we were out of time. We could talk for ages. I didn't even ask you about the movie, but who cares? <laughs> all we want to know about what the band the really Stones. like. And there's more information. They have another story after the break as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank you the way. so much. Leave no coming, coming in. You're welcome. Ed. It's only rock and roll, but I like it. Yes, we're here in London's Leicester Square for the UK premiere of Shine a Light, starring the Rolling Stones. All this and more after the break. Oh yes, they've seen and done it all and are still alive. Rather amazingly, some may say. Here's some more now from Lisa who met up with rock legends, the Rolling Stones, in London last night. And apparently, they're still looking for satisfaction. Well, yes, they're the best band in the world and my favourite band to boot. Yes, we're here for the UK premiere of the Martin Scorsese flick and the Rolling Stones. It is Shine a Light. How are you? TV3 from Ireland. Are you coming home soon? Give them my love, love, man, Charlie, love. We love Ireland. Ireland, yeah. Are you going to play with the Chieftains again? I am, yeah. yeah. They won't no. have it. They won't allow Charlie in the band, but it's great. What about tonight? Are you excited about tonight? Yeah. Taking up bloody Irish, taking up everything. Yeah. Where do you drink, Ronnie? I believe you kicked a whole crew member out of a band just to have a, a pub to yourself. Tea house. Well, Where's your local? Where's your local? my personal life. Ah, Ronnie, sure haven't half of County Kildare shared a Guinness with you. Well, after the Stones in the Park in 1969 and the Gimme Shelter documentaries in 1970, why only now, nearly 38 years on, make another? Working with Scorsese, really, again, because I did the last walks with him, and then 30 years later, we ended up doing our second picture. And... Rock and roll. Okay. Oh, yeah. so don't be nervous about anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ronnie! Ronnie, what's it? Oh, ah. Ronnie, what's it like to be in the best rock and roll band in the world? Fantastic. Yeah, Do you want to come and join us? Come on. I'd love to. I'm going to be coming in soon. Really later. <laughs> and then we take your tempo. It's going to go up and up and up and up. Sorry for it to serve you. I know that age doesn't wither you guys. You keep going. How do you enjoy keep going in the band for this many decades? I know, I've been very lucky, haven't I? You know. And of course, you're the best best drummer in the world. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's it from us here in London's Leicester Square. I took Ron Wood up on the offer, and I just got the last pass, the golden ticket to go and hang out with the Stones here in the Odeon. Take care. We'll see you soon.